at the Grim War of Zero episode four. Uh, this show is gonna kill me. This show is honest to God gonna kill me. I need to see these two get together. This needs to happen. Really, I don't care when it happens. I don't care if it takes like half the series to do it, or even at the very end. The Mercenary and Zero have to become a couple. Bottom line. I mean, the whole like sequence of events up to just the them leaving town. Even when they did leave town, you know, how, like she learned about kissing for the first time. She wanted to kiss him, but he's like, "You have to save that for people you fall in love with." And she's like, "Yeah." She goes, "That's why I want to practice with you." And it's like, "Oh God, it's so cute. It is so cute. I love it." Uh, but unfortunately, you know, even though there were some really nice things that happened in this episode, uh, with, you know, just everyone getting along really well, uh, th you know, th it seems like the kid's really getting along with the mercenary a lot more than he was before. He's even getting some practice of how to use better magic from Zero's perspective. When they get to the town they're supposed to arrive at, that everything's supposed to be really lively and, you know, go goodwill there for the most part, they find out that troubling it is as it is, the town's not in good situation, um... It's been, looks like it's been raised to the ground of, not per se the actual town itself, but it looks like the people, because they see charred bodies and stuff like that, so, yeah, it looks like they definitely had someone attack them, most likely, and I'm presuming from how specifically it was the people that were burnt, I'm thinking that maybe it's a magician that probably did this, so, you know, that's going to be interesting in itself, I'm sure that next week's episode will reveal that. Uh, but overall, this episode is very solid. I really am just digging the whole kind of feel for it. It feels like an adventure story and a light novel really as an anime. And I know that is based off a light novel, obviously, that's the concept, but it just feels like that. And I'll be honest with you, if you didn't think that this guy was like Lawrence, like the mercenary wasn't like Lawrence, wait until you actually hear him say that he wants to build a tavern and run his own tavern. Come on, that's Lawrence. Lawrence does the same thing from Spice and Wolf. He says that he wants to have his own little shop. It's like basically the same thing. Okay, tavern versus a shop, you know, two different things, but it's kind of the same thing. You know, it's just, it's almost like a reverse Spice and Wolf where, like, you know, the main dude instead is the actual creature and then you have the girl being normal for the most part. I mean, even though she's a mage in this case. But, you know, I'm telling you guys and girls that if anything, probably one of my favorite shows of the season just because of the, you know, relationship between the characters. I really love it. I love the whole feel of the whole show. Animation is really spectacular. I just think that this show is so much fun to watch. Hopefully you guys feel that way too. If leave, let me know in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this review, you know what to do. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, share the video, etc. Uh, I do have a Patreon. You can feel free to donate a dollar a month. You can donate more. You can see my rewards up there. I don't have a lot going on there. But, you know, you guys can always tell me if you want any specific rewards up there. So I'll always listen to the comments. Anyways, everyone, God bless you all. Bye-bye.